Hey guys, it's Claire, and today I'm going to be making my most requested video. Um, actually, only like two people have requested it, but like that's still a lot. For all the people requesting a room tour, I'm going to make that after I finish it, which will come sometime, I promise. I'm going to show you how I edit on iMovie aesthetically. I usually edit on iMovie, but I started like doing Final Cut Pro, which is a little bit more high tech. Things today I will teach you is how to do green screens and how to add text into it and all these things that like most iMovie beginners don't know how to do. I forgot to mention, but all of this is how to edit for free. I didn't pay a single buck for anything. So let's just get into it. Um, I'll just quickly go over the supplies I use, I guess. Um, I use the Canon EO, EOS um, 80D and it's actually my sister's because she's really into photography. So I'm lucky that I have like a good quality camera to film on, but yes, that's what I film on for now. The doll, pull the doll. I kind of made a list of all the things that I wanted to include. So the first thing is I'm just gonna show you guys kind of the basic like keyboard shortcuts that I'll always use. And I'm also gonna show you how to rough cut. Rough cutting is for when like I cut out any like breasts, like if I'm like, like nobody wants to sit there and watch you do that because that's kind of boring. And I think rough cuts are what makes it like very like quick and fast moving. It keeps your audience like on your video, which YouTube likes. I also like to cut out anytime I like mumble, like I'm little, little. Cause I usually mumble, I usually stumble over my words a lot. So that's something that you should always do to your videos and I'd recommend doing that first. Okay, so this is how you like cut your clip and stuff. So first you're gonna drag in all your clips into iMovie, into the project. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click Command B on your computer and it will make this cut. And then what I usually do is I'll make two cuts and then I'll delete the inner um, part that I cut out. And another way you can like shorten your clips is you can hover over the end and then you can drag it away. Then you have a shorter clip. Okay, so the next thing is you're going to click on the clip and you're going to do Command C and that is for copying and then Command V. So then now you have two clips. So if you're wondering how to do a time lapse or slow down your video, then you're going to go up to this little like time button and as you can see you can move it to fast, to slow, and then you have a fast video or a slow video. You can also customize at what pace you want it and that's how to do that. So after you've done your, whoa, after you've done your rough cuts, then my favorite thing to do is Ken Burns effect. So, so the Ken Burns effect is when you zoom in. It's also, you can also use it for cropping tools. So sometimes I'll do that if I have something on my face and I want to embarrass myself and roast myself. So I just have this random clip of me talking, but what I am going to do is I am going to make a cut. So then I have a section that I'm applying the changes to, and then I'm gonna click this weird like square thing in the menu bar. And as you can see, there's different options, but I'm gonna hit crop to fill, and then you can arrange like the box, and that is what it will crop to. So as you can see, it adds like a nice little like in and then out. And then the next thing is Ken Burns, which is the zoom effect. So what you're gonna do is also choose another clip, turn that on, and as you can see, you can see the start and then the end. So you just arrange that however you want. And then depending on your how long your clip is, that will be how fast it is. And then I also like to do it the opposite where it zooms outwards. I don't know, I think it just looks very nice. So I just hit this little like switcheroo button and that is what it did and it pushes it outwards. The next thing is text and this is where I like Final Cut Pro more than iMovie because iMovie does not have good text. It like reveals and it's just, it's not good. So you're actually gonna have to go into another thing and then make a green screen and download that, but it's all for free. So yes, text is can take a long time, but I also do like to use text for when I'm like saying things and then I pop it on the screen. And then it's like, it just gives you guys some more things to look at than just look at my face. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is go to the website Canva, which is completely free. All you have to do is make an account and you wanna make sure the dimensions are correct. It's 2,560 pixels 
by 1440 pixels and um, I am going to change the background color to green so that it is a green screen. Then go to the text option and as you can see there are so many like cool texts and I am going to use whatever this one is and it says thank you but I'm going to put hello and change it all up. After you have whatever your heart desires you are going to download it and I just downloaded it as a PNG and my Wi-Fi wasn't really working but then you're going to drag it into iMovie and you are going to make sure that it's not on the Ken Burns effect and you're going to change it to fit and then you're going to go over and click the green screen option and then you have this beautiful text on your videos. By far one of my favorite things to do on iMovie is green screens and I didn't know this really at all when I first began but you're definitely gonna thank me later so you're gonna have to download them from like the internet I think it's kind of illegal but I'm just gonna show you how to do that anyways and so green screens is when there is something green and then there's something like above it and it's not green and the green goes to the video but I think it just adds some really nice cool effects and I also think I just found a flea on me so you're gonna start by going to YouTube, oh good old YouTube, and you are going to look up aesthetic green screens, green screens, overlays, whatever you want. You can look up like different things, I don't know. And then you're gonna come up with some videos and click on whichever one you like, and then you are going to hit the little share button and then copy link. In a separate tab, you are going to open up um, Y2Mate, just look that up, YouTube Video Converter, and you are going to paste the link, and then you will have the option to download it, and you will click it to download. You can download in the highest quality or low quality, whatever you want. Once downloaded, you're gonna put it onto iMovie and put it over your video. Then you're going to click the green screen option from before, and then it will take a little bit to load, and there you have it. You can customize this so much, it's super duper cool and you can use this in so many different ways. After you're done with all of that, then we are going to move on to color correction, which I don't always use, but sometimes if I'm in low lighting or it's very orangey, kind of like here, I'm feeling very yellow, but I like to brighten it up or turn it more cool tones and I'm not an expert at all of this stuff, but I'm gonna just show you guys how to do it. So you're going to click on the little like paint palette icon and it will bring it to this and one is for like exposure and the other one is for color. So I like to raise it just a teeny bit just to make it like a little brighter. But the main thing is this thing where it goes from like yellow to blue and I'll turn it more blue because it was looking more a little yellow. And you can see that this is the before and like the after. It looks very great and much better. Now, um, I don't do this in all of my videos, but the intro is when I take some clips from throughout the video that kind of like sum it all up and I'll put it at the beginning and I'll kind of make, I'll put a green screen on it and make it like aesthetic. You're gonna know what my video is about. I don't know if I'm gonna do it for this one. I don't always do it, but sometimes if I do like art crafts, I'll put those at the beginning, if that makes sense. But yeah, I think it gives the viewer a great sneak peek. So the next thing is music, and I think this is probably one of the biggest things and um, one of my biggest tips. So basically, um, if you don't know, YouTube is very strict for copywriting. So I actually use this awesome website, free. Other YouTubers use it too. Basically, you download it, and then all you have to do is link them in the description. So if you guys wanna find out some like aesthetic sounds, I guess, that I use in my videos, just go to my description, click on that link, and then download it. And then you have your own music. And what's perfect about this is because you're crediting it, it's not gonna get you copyrighted. Sometimes people will look up like aesthetic copyright free videos on YouTube, but that doesn't mean for sure that they're gonna be copyright free in a year. And then it's just all this mumble jumble, and your video gets taken down for that. So that is not what you want to do. Another part of music is when I put music in the background of my videos. I think it adds a nice touch because then you're not just listening to my voice all the time. You're listening to some catchy music, you know? And I just really like it when people are having music in their backgrounds. Okay, so now I'm gonna just give some tips because the main thing I recommend is audio so sometimes I'll be watching a video with my headphones in 
and the audio will be super quiet at some points, but then the music will be super loud. You probably heard this tip, but um, watch your video all the way through. If you're bored, then you gotta change something. Like, I'm sorry, nobody else is gonna sit through your video if you're bored watching it. Not a lot of people say this, but wear headphones so, so that the outside sounds don't distract you and you can hear if some of the volume is super low and then super high. So yeah, sound quality is very important along with lighting. I always like to have a window like facing at me. This lighting is a little uneven because my house is covered with like two windows, but um, you can definitely spot a new YouTuber when their, their sound quality is super quiet and not that good and their lighting is like pitch black. So definitely if you wanna look like a better YouTuber, not saying that the people who do it are bad, just better quality, then definitely focus on those two things. Okay, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that helped um, the people who are asking and I hope you guys like the video. I'm sorry for not posting as much. I don't like to post when I'm in a bad mood and I don't know why, but that's like been happening a lot. So I'll try and post more, but yes, that's just been happening. And I hope everybody is having a great day. And if you're not, that's okay, because I just made your day great. So you should just go out and get out of bed and have a great day because yeah, you just should. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.